everyone, Vamp712 here with Leah Moriarty in Detroit, Michigan tonight for the great uh, weekend spectacular. And we're starting off with a first interesting matchup, a debut. Yeah, I see Grim Gory's going against uh, Yujiro Takahashi, if I got that correct. Yes, you did, Leah. You got that correct. Uh, he is a member of the Bullet Club, but he's a member of the subdivision known as the House of Torture. Which is also, you see in the notes, there's show right over there. One is Good Friends, and another one, the infamous leader of that group who's been causing a hell of a lot of trouble here in the United States. Evil. Oh my, more of these Bullet Club uh, monsters? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, unfortunately. I wish uh, the owners would have grow a pair already and uh, just ban these guys outright, man. I mean, they just need to ban the Bullet Club members outright. And when are we going to have an owner that's actually going to do that? And I hate to say it. Because these guys have no respect for anything. They're uh, they're chaotic as God knows what. And friggin' uh, I mean, I'm sorry to express my opinion here about the Bullet Club here, uh, Leia. No, no, I understand. I mean, it's unbelievable. So, let's put it that way. They should call themselves the Garbage Club as long as I care. Yeah, that would sum it up there, Vamp. Tell you that much right now. And hello there, Marcus the King, yeah. Hello there, Ace the King. You'll be on the card tomorrow night, Mystery King. Yeah, definitely. Mystery King Josh Adams. Rumors is, is that you may be going to rematch against the former TV champion, uh, Grit. He does have that rematch clause since he made one, at least one title defense of his title. And look at these idiots. Oh my gosh. Oh, looks like they got their groove on. Yeah, looks like they do, Leia. I'll tell you that much right now. I hope Grim Gory gives uh, Ujiro what's coming to him. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing him give uh, both uh, Ujiro and Sho what's coming to him. Yeah, that would be great. That would be double the uh, wow. That would be incredible. Oh, look at these two idiots. Unbelievable. Let's give some shout outs while these idiots are dancing. Marcus the King, 41. We got Ace the King over here, 22. Uh, also known as Mystery King on uh, YouTube. Marcus King is known as uh, Marcus the King on uh, YouTube. Iron Taylor. Christopher Hobbes. Mad Sinister Macau. Got Mark 76, Vince McSham. And there's Grim Gory. Mummy and a Monkey also. Gotta give them a shout out. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, indeed. They got a show every Friday night on YouTube. Check them out, folks. Indeed, I'll tell you that much right now. They're going to be happy in a couple weeks because they're going to be back over in their homeland of Cleveland for uh, Wasteland. And Marcus is saying that the, now the House of Cheaters are here. we got eight matches going on there. Uh... Tomorrow night on tomorrow's program, the main event, Iron Taylor against Brandon Styles. Plus, there's going to be contenders matches. Die. Who's the next? Who is going to be the next contenders for the tag team titles? After we see who's going to win it tonight between Rockabilly Connection and Air Attack. We also got Ricky Armstrong, A ASPW Productions. We also got uh, Lee, Lee Kayla TV. I think that's uh, they still go by. Evan Black. 
Try and take out Vom as I go along here. Back in the day, 2K. Has the House of Torture won a match without cheating? That's a good question. I doubt it. Grim Gory seems like he's keeping him off his feet right now, and that's a good thing for uh, Grim. <laughs> Definitely, I'll tell you that much. Oh! Beautiful. Oh my gosh. You better believe that's beautiful. And Grim is not taking any crap from this, from the House of Torture, or Hot, or whatever you want to call him. And right now, oh, oh man! And right now, this this is a spill out to the outside of the ring. Do they even realize there's a freaking count going on? Do they even care? And I'm not talking about Grim. I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about the House of Torture. Oh, and there you go. Grim got back in there, and that may be a big regret. And uh oh, the two one six. Could that be it? Oh no, Grim's gonna fall it off. Oh, Gorilla Splash. Oh man, come on, show. He could have had a 10 count already. Well, he got one anyway. Grim wins it. All right, and the fans are happy. Indeed, they are. I'll tell you that much right now. And there you go right there, uh, show tried. Yeah, that was a, three, a pretty long three count. It would have not been if it wasn't for show trying to distract the referee, but it did not work in the end. As Grim Gory has won this. Great win. For that guy right there. Oh, indeed. I'll say that much right now. Indeed. All right, folks. Coming up next, we got more action. You can st you can shake a stick at because we got four way tornado tag decide who's gonna wind up going against uh, the MSW uh, women's tag team champions next week. As we still gotta decide as tomorrow night, there will be the rematch for Yurhar Shoten to take on Hog Wild. And there we go. We got the. Uh, we got the uh, ones right there that's going to be involved. We got Blazing Beauties, Listrada and uh, Bethany. Then we got Asia. We got the Daughters of Massacre, which is Asia and Dana. Then we got the we got two members of the Gotham Gang, Poison Alley and uh, Catwoman Sarah Perry. And then we got the Bullet Club Babes, which would be uh, Tasha and Jerry. And, of course, this is one fall wins it all, just to let you know. So, next, yeah, at Waste, you know, basically, at Wasteland, this is going to be the uh, women's tag team champions' opponents. Indeed, to that much right now. Or sometimes I say we got more action in double decker sandwiches. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Great to have everybody on board here tomorrow night. Like I said, the big main event. The big rematch, Random Styles and Iron Tail, and the reason why for that one was that Iron Tail felt bad when uh, referee did not see Brandon Styles' uh, foot underneath the ropes. 
Yeah, did you hear the nerve of Ray Little? Yeah, I seen that. He's like, uh, six color picks his referees like the, uh, like his dealers at the casino. Shame on him. And, of course, Marcus says, I will say I am pretty lucky to have power with the storm going on. Thank goodness. Good to hear. Let's get the ring right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a little bit under weather right now. I'm, uh... Suffering a little bit of a cold and congested cough. I'm trying to recover from it. And like I said, eventually I'll change those uh, banners on the uh, arena there soon. I just haven't got around to everything. You guys want to go ahead and call me a lazy bum? Go ahead. I'm cool with it. Hell with it. I'll take it what it is. And there is the Daughters of Mask or Asia Call. And Dana Brooke coming down to the ring. Wow, that's a big claim. I'm gonna have to check out Russell Quest and see. Uh, yeah, see, that's so true on there. I mean, I'm gonna probably think they're not even gonna. You know, if it turns out to be uh, what it says about Ultra Pro Wrestling, you may not even touch a level of that. It's a shame every time they got the updates, I'll admit right now. Everything's uh put towards my faction. You know what? Stop it, guys. Just stop it. You know, you you know you got other departments in the game too that you can uh concentrate on and uh they don't pay attention. How about just getting us some bonus attires for the guys instead of putting them all in uh, my faction? Give me a break. All right, get back into this and uh, get back to the character there. We got Asia calling Dana Brooke as uh, Gotham Gang's coming out there. And I'll be back. I'm going to go use the facilities real quick. This congestion gets, she gets to you sometimes.
right, we got Liz Strong to come out to the ring, and oh, wait a minute, who we got going on here? Oh, wait a minute, who's coming over to the commentary table? Diamond Dallas Page. It's me, it's me, it's DDP in MSW. Are you here to wrestle? No, I got a big announcement to make uh, right now. Bobby Six Killers uh, hired me to be the special enforcer slash general manager here in MSW. DDP. I'm glad to be back in the wrestling biz, I'll tell you that much right now. I, 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 I figure I had a little extra time between my my successful yoga business and everything else and everything else uh, going here on the on the storefront. Let me say something right now. Anybody's got up to no good shenanigans, they're going to pay. And I got a first announcement tonight. Tonight's main event. We all know that uh, Sue Sue Chow is now the uh, women's champion. That's a good thing, too, because she's strong. But we're going to see how strong she is tonight. You remember the War Games match last week, Leia? Yeah, uh, the one that Daphne, Miss Wonderland, Shadow, and uh, Miami Gold won, right? Well, I got news for you. We're having an Elimination Chamber match tonight for that women's title. None of those four women are going to be involved in it, but we're going to give Akira another shot at it. So, there's your main event tonight. We also got the Rockabilly Connection. Rockstar Steve, Reverend Morbid, going against Air Attack. We also have... Pierce Perch defending his Tri American title against a guy that cannot be denied by the committee. Michael Dreamer, he's on a he's on an undefeated streak. I'll tell you how much right now. Get up. Get up. Come on, let's go. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's great it's great to be uh back in the rustling biz. I'll tell you that much right now. And I'll tell you what, if anybody gives me a problem. They'll, they'll get the bang, the diamond cutter. But I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see who's going to be the contenders waiting for this big payday coming up at Wasteland. Yeah, I decided, uh, I decided, uh, lighten the load for Mystic Six Killer. I'll tell you what, right now, he's been doing a heck of a job trying to take care of it all, but everybody knows when you're a one man show, it's tough. Definitely. Yeah, I remember you from the days when you were tag team champ and uh, world champion and stuff like that. You had a successful career. Oh yeah, I, I'll tell you what. I started out. I didn't start out that young. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, I am a part of Russell Quest. Pretty, pretty awesome. Like you know, I, I'm I'm telling Vamp right now. He's got to try it out, man. He's got to try it out. No doubt about it. Of course, I see my good friend Canyon. Uh, you know, hey, rest his soul, man. I'll tell you that much right now. He's going to be in ultra pro wrestling. A lot of stuff happening. I'll tell you that much right now. I want to see you in uh, ultra pro wrestling. Well, you know what? That would be great. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never, beautiful. Oh jeez, DDP, thank you. Not a problem. I mean, yeah, you're you're one of those girls that've been getting uh, you've been one of those women that's been getting rave reviews here on the commentary table, and uh, you know what? You're great. You're, you're you seem like you're a student of the day. And let's see, like like a lot of these people, it's like uh, Bethany, for example. I know she's been absent from the ring for many years. Definitely, of course, the estranged daughter of uh, Chaz and uh, Molly Holly. And there's Dana Brooks suplexing Liz Strada. Of course, she's the daughter of Miss Allison, the late great Joe Massacre. He was a tough son of a gun himself. Just another game I'm in there, folks. I mean, 
I remember my first appearance uh, was on SmackDown vs. Raw. I know SmackDown gonna shut your mouth. I apologize, I take that back. And then of course I was in that Legends of Wrestling showdown, which was a great, great uh, list, of, list of people in there to be with. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't list the people, including two of my teachers, uh, Dusty Rhodes and Jake Roberts. Oh, uh, look at Poison Alley. I better, yeah, if I if I was Tasha, I'd be careful of those boots. Maybe just got some poison tipped in those. Ah, Macho Man in Ultra Pro Wrestling. I don't know, I'd like to see Macho Man in Ultra Pro Wrestling. That would be great. Or is that is that true that's coming up there? I didn't, yeah, you know, I. it's hard to keep up with the news. I mean, there's still a long list of people that can go along with those guys in there. I mean, you, you took a look at the you took a look at the legends in there. Francine, Sam, man. You got Mortis. You got Canyon. Demolition, baby. Powers of pain. I mean, I think that might be the first appearance that they ever made in a game. And the Barbarian, now, now there's, you want to talk about one tough sell with a gun. You know what, you, you know, it's, it, it's always good to have Barbarian or Haku on your side if you ever get in a fight. I'll put it that way, I'll just sum it up like that. Oh, look at Dana Brooke, just picking up straw like she was nothing, look at that. Wham, there you go. Go for the pin. This might be it. Oh, almost, son of a gun. I doubt the referee will slow, it's just that Straw still has a little more energy in her, in her, uh, in her, in her little golden goddess body of hers. Is that what she claims to be, the golden goddess? Yeah, definitely. She did give Susu a hell of a fight when the Universal Women's title was around. But you know what? You know she's been, uh, I think she's been also Queen of the Wasteland at one time here too. Yeah, die my kid. Yeah, I'll tell you what, die my kid. That's gonna be great. Forgive me, I'm speaking in character and out of character here for a moment on that. When I talk about Ultra Pro Wrestling, I was like, I want to see what this son of a gun's gonna look like. I can't wait. I mean, just the great characters alone were good. Basically, good. If you ever check out McSham, he does a whole thing on uh, basically the Ultra Pro Wrestling characters, which is pretty damn neat. We got some interesting characters in that one. Kind of right, we remind you of uh, 80s territorial wrestling. Yeah, another one would be, yeah, another one that's interesting in Ultra Pro Wrestling is Al Snow. I was like, that's pretty cool. So is Scorpio and Bagwell. I'm serious, like, holy crap, holy crap, man. Oh, look at Strato with a DET there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I want to see what the uh, what the final product's going to be. They're talking about adding more stuff to it, so. Oh, man, and uh, Dana Brooke almost had the pin on Catwoman Perry. Back in the character here. And we got Tasha Miles going right into this strata. Hello there, uh, Harold. How you doing tonight, man? There's a lot of stuff going on here right now. We got four-way tag team exercise. Who's going to take on the women's tag team champions at Wasteland? Oh, Asia trying to pick up Sarah. And of course, yeah, there is Sarah in that cat woman outfit. <laughs> oh, man, and Daphne Church took Jerry Missile to school with that back suplex.
Oh man, here we go, and damn. Oh man, and Dana Brooke. Oh, oh my gosh, man. Tell you how much right now. She's she got a little sass behind her. Of course, uh, her mom is Miss Ellis. Yeah, definite legend in the MSW days. No doubt about it. Just making everybody feel the pain. Oh, man, and Asia and Dana have punched their ticket in. What a great victory. Pins Poison Alley. Great victory for those girls. I, I'll tell you what. I know there's somebody small enough. I know there's a couple people small enough for the pearly gates up there. I'm talking about Massacre and Rose. There you go right there. Big time victory. Oh my. Look at that. So if you did not know, down in those pages, our new general manager here in MSW. Congratulations, sir. Well, thank you very much. And I, you know, I may be back later on the broadcast with some more announcements. Stay tuned. All right, then. Well, coming up next, we have four-way dance to decide who's going to get the next shot at uh, Christopher Hovis. And because we uh, we found out something, uh, I guess DEP will have an announcement in a moment. Because we all know that Hovis is not going to wrestle uh, Marcus anymore because if you did not hear the news, he is a member of the Bullet Club now. But this is going to be a Mastodon battle here between uh, Farkas, GX3, Mayhem, and uh, Billy Paul. Understand, man. Yeah, you know, all good, Harold. All good. Let's go in the back right now. So we got Chick Don Chick. Hey, hello, everybody here. Chick Donovan here in Detroit, Michigan. Great to be here. MSW always trying to bring you a thrill of minute action. And with me right now is the new GM of uh, MSW, DDP. You got another announcement to make? Yeah, let me explain something to you right now. That matchup that's going to happen right now, the winner of that match is going to get that shot against Hovis at Wasteland. That's right, you heard me correctly. <clears throat> but I just signed another big match up here tomorrow. Four-way match to decide who's going to take on the World Tag Team Champions at Wasteland. One corner we got the Wolfpack, Lorenzo and Wolfchild. Then we got Bull Run. Of course, everybody knows what kind of trouble they've been causing. Then we got the Boomtown Saints, Brimstone and Lennox. And then we got Bullet Club is sending a team in there, and uh, everybody wonders which one that is. Is it the War Dogs? No, I got news to tell you. You're not going to believe it. It's going to be Christopher Hovis and Marcus St. Killer. They're going in there tomorrow night as the Bullet Club representatives. Oh, my. Well, folks, back to you. DDP is just laying out the announcements, isn't he? He sure is, Leia. Let's get going with this one, folks. Another four-way dance here. I don't know if it's a dance or single fall wins at all. I think it might be a dance. So they better get their dancing shoes on and their dancing gloves. Well, you know what kind of dancing they're going to be doing in that ring. Oh, yeah, basically. Yeah, if you did not hear that, Christopher Hogan's joined the uh, Bull Club, I guess, recently on... Uh, an episode of uh, MUOW, Marcus's Universal Wrestling. <laughs> Which I got to still catch up on the episodes on there, and I do apologize. In character and out of character, I'll say.
And don't forget, that if you're a fan of Matt Sinister McCall, whenever that happens, I guess he should have the SummerSlam episodes coming up really soon, I guess, if he does. Those are going to be interesting. But there is the guy from another galaxy, GX3, known as Gus Galaxy the Third. Very popular guy here ever since he came over here. Done a lot here, I'll tell you that much right now. I guess he wouldn't mind another reign as Cinema Wasteland Champion. But of course, he's got three other giants to face here. You know what? This kind of reminds you of a Kaiju Big Battle matchup. I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting to see if they're going to bring in the uh, little buildings and everything else in there. Could be you got. You're going to have Godzilla, Gamera, maybe Mecha Godzilla, and God knows who else in there. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And there is Mayhem right there. Man, look at those eyes. That, that dude's scary. Well, you know he's not real. He's basically a creation of Christopher Hovis. But the question is now, since Hovis is with the Bullet Club, is Mayhem going to follow? Or is Mayhem going to wind up uh, actually going trying to venture on his own? He's a mega zombie. He's like a juggernaut from State of Decay 2, okay? That's what he is. I'll come in, I'll come out there and say it. You know those big juggernauts you gotta face off in State of Decay 2? If you don't have the right weaponry, they, they tear you apart. That's what he is. And there is Baron Von Farkas right there, folks. They say he looks like Oliver Reed, and I can see the similarities. Indeed. Oliver Reed, great actor at the time, and uh, definitely in the 60s through the 80s. Classic movies like The Curse of the Werewolf, The Brood, hell of a lot of movies he was in. And there we go, we got Fergus coming to the ring right now, a heavy hitter himself, I mean... I'm pretty sure he wants, he wouldn't mind getting some gold. Like I said, whoever's not on the show tonight will be on there tomorrow. Definitely, I, I promise you that. <laughs> Mr. King will be on there tomorrow. Rumor is he may be going to a full metal mayhem match against Gret for his TV title. And I'm talking about Mystery King's TV title because if you missed it last week, Mr. King... Scored the biggest, uh, what a way to get your first victory. Beating Grip for the TV title. Just because somebody opened the door for you. Oh, indeed, you know. i say that much right now. And I'll be right back. I'm going to go uh, take care of my clothes. Like I said, out of character here. Just uh, try and do everything at once. My apologies.
Life check? Oh, great. Again. Okay. Can, can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Thank you. I don't know why he does that. I don't know if it's a controller or the headset. They don't make stuff like they used to anymore. I swear to goodness, man. Oh man, a GX3 may be out. Oh, he got out of it by Billy Paul going for the pin on Farkas. Like I said, this is a battle of four big men right here, and one of them is going to wind up getting a shot against another big man at Wasteland and Hovis. What if it's Mayhem against Hovis, uh, Damp? I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Nonetheless. Oh my gosh, missile landing. That's the same move that Jerry Missile uses that Mayhem used on GX3. Oh, and Farkas with a power bomb, and now Mayhem decides to interview himself in that situation and drop kick uh, big time Billy. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, and big time Billy got uh, greets him with a sledgehammer. Well, good for him, definitely. Yeah, for sure, that's what Mayhem gets for sticking his nose in too many situations. I understand it's a four-way matchup, but if you're seeing two guys fight, here's my idea. I would just uh, stay out of it until one of them gets eliminated. Well, of course, that's my uh, thing. Sounds like a sound strategy there, Vamp. Is that how you take on your fans? I don't know about that, Lee. I, I really don't know. What are what you, what you getting to, Miss? Uh, just a question. <laughs> oh, big time gut punch by Farkas. I hope uh, GX3 did not eat a lot. Marcus says, currently in my company, we got a Gold Rush tournament going on where the winner is going to get a uh, winner of the tournament is going to get a free shot at the uh, two biggest championships in the uh, company. Wow. Well, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's going to be a big honor for whoever wins it then. Bodies laying all over the place. It is looking like a Kaiju big battle movie. Oh, and GX3 just tore down Farkas. Like I said, eight big matches tonight because I couldn't think of a ninth one. That's the first time I heard uh, Minecraft there on my mind. Of course, uh, God forgive me, I've been a little uh, bogged down with uh, cold and congested cough, basically. But I'm still, I feel a little bit better. Thank God for safe testing for uh, thing. It's like sometimes... I wonder if there's anything out there for diabetics to use and that kind of stuff. But thank goodness there is. I know what you want, fam. I know what would kill you. What? That referee in that ring right now? Oh, will you stop it, Leia? Why you, why you got me uh, pitching with her for? I'm just, I'm just saying. And right now, you see the kendo stick just busting up the shreds. Sure was, until it magically disappeared. Yeah, 2K's got a good thing of doing that. I mean, oh! And Billy Paul just... Just when I had his forehead meet the steel of that chair. Oh, man, right now, damn. Damn. 
Another big time clothesline. Oh man, there we go. Farkas almost had the big time power slam on him and couldn't keep him up there as Billy Paul escaped. But that was a big amount of strength there by Farkas to have him up there for eating that short amount of time. You got that right. Oh, now he's got it. He is not going to be denied. Wow. And the referee, like I said, we need a second referee in these types of matches. That's really goodness. But it doesn't matter because Billy Paul just got pinned. Right now, Group A is down to Eddie Kingston, Jay White, Adrian Coleman, and Septic Eye. And then Group B is Payne, Diener, Matt Bennett, and Shibata. Wow, interesting. Oh, man, and Mayhem. That might be it for Farkas. No. And he's in, he is in freaking disbelief. Well, Farkas is tough. Don't let, don't let, it, don't let it deceive you. Farkas is freaking tough as nails. You got that right. <coughs> Throws Mayhem back in there. Oh man, got hit with a chair. Oh boy, and Mayhem has got that position for somebody to go through it. Ah, difference is wrong wave. Luckily for Farkas, it was the wrong way. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. He would have had Excedrin Hague number 1001. You got that right. That would have been one hell of a... <coughs> And look at Farkas with the pounce. <coughs> and he gets rid of Gus with the pounce. Wow. Farkas is in a foul too. Holy cow. Oh, he's got Mayhem to go against. Oh boy. Could it be happening? Could that matchup be happening? Mayhem against Hovis. <coughs> you wonder. Ow. Going for a pin. And Mayhem's going to win it. That means a mayhem Hovis match is going to be... It's going to be possibly... Happening. <coughs> yeah, he is. He was in there with the uh, Mayhem. Definitely. And, uh, and then I proved to be too well for Mr. Uh, Farkas. <laughs> But he, he gave a hell of an effort. Let's not kid anybody there. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. Yeah. He does. And uh, what are words that's going to be? Monster gets creator coming up. Folks, coming up next is going to be, uh, should be another good matchup here. I forgot what's on the uh, schedule here tonight. <coughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Well, Blaze and Spike asked for it, so they're going to wind up taking on Show and Evil. Oh, man. And Extreme Rules Tag, oh, my God. I think it might be ECW Rules on uh, there, Vamp. Oh, jeez, that's going to be even worse. Good God. <coughs> no 
okay there, vamp? Yeah, of course, Leia. Uh, I'll make it through. Yeah, but what what would it be if Blaze and Collins managed to score a big upset? Collins has got an undefeated streak right now. Let's not forget. Yeah, that's the scary part about it. I mean, oh my gosh. So we get to see Evil here, one of the nastiest wrestlers in Japan. I heard. This is a match definitely up how it's the torture's alley. Yeah, I would say so. Anytime you got uh you're dealing with matches that have no rules and anything like that in there, yeah. Especially up evil's alley. And evil has an undefeated record against Taylor. Wow. Oh man, if he climbs up the ladder, God help us. Or he even tries any tactics to get up there to get a towel shot. Of course, Michael Blaze, he doesn't no longer have his, uh, he doesn't have his, uh, dear Sarah Perry with him because she joined the Gotham gang. <laughs> Michael Blaze is so called, I. Uh, I guess you call him the uh, new version of Heartbreak Kid if you have to. I prefer not to. Well, I was never a fan of it. I mean, you know, I could take a leave Shawn Michaels, but Michael Blaze is no Shawn Michaels. I agree. Who was you, who was you a fan of in the 90s, uh, Darlea? Sting? One of my favorites was also Ron Simmons. Oh, you were a WCW girl at that time. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And there is a guy that's running undefeated streak here in singles competition. Spike Collins, who scored a big victory over Dominic Mysterio last week. And Marcus says he just calls Blaze the heartbroken rocker. And he was also saying that Evil has a 3-0 record against Iron Taylor. Wow. That's not good. I mean, everybody's got their kryptonite in the world of wrestling. Definitely. And there he is still wearing a high energy shirt, but the problem is, he's not a member of high energy. And they don't even own that name. I wonder if Booster can put a cease and desist, cease and, uh, cease and uh, desist letter on uh, Spike Collins not to wear that anymore. Good question. You know, maybe somebody should just suggest that to Mr. McCallum. <laughs> I wonder what the hell he's doing now. And oh, geez, here we go again. We'll start calling these guys the Groovy Goffs. They kind of remind you of that uh, group in WTF right now, what's their name? The Moss Family? Because of those movements? Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, jeez. 
I hope you never see those guys here in M MSW. God almighty. The Moss family, oh my gosh. Well, who would you ever have here? The Moss family or King Giant? How about Niver? I'll go with that d -Lo Chang guy. of torture now here good god almighty I'm all, how many more of these bullet club idiots are we, are we gonna see here I don't know it's becoming really uh, discouraging for everybody else in the locker room it may become discouraging for me over here at the commentary table wow that's some strong words if it's becoming discouraging for you over here Marcus says, we don't need King. I steal your spot in the line here because this weight alone would break the ring and the Moss family needs help. I agree. Point given. All right, show getting thrown back in there by Michael Blaze while Evil's take on the... Uh, the Star Child clone, Spike Collins. How come Star Child because he got that star over his face? Yeah, that's the thing about it. You know what? Spike Collins would kind of remind you of uh, what if Paul Stanley and some AIDS glam girl had a child <laughs> oh my gosh <coughs> that would be something else Yeah, 2K loving the steel stars. Uh, yeah, not surprising. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. He got pulverized. Evil pulverized Blaze with that power. That military press power slam. Man. Oh, look at that. Blaze is fighting back. But right now, Show is taking it to uh, Spike Collins. The only show I remember is uh, the guy who played in Revenge of the Ninja. Oh, great movie. Great movie. You can never go wrong with Show Kasuki. I mean, that, just that Ninja trilogy was a uh, hell of a series. Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, and Ninja 3 to Domination. And Spike, now take it at the Evil. My God, he got some fanfare? Oh my gosh. Are we in the Twilight Zone or Bizarro World? Good question. into that uh, apron, but look, I mean, ran in that post, but, oh, gosh, what on the floor, holy cow, 
right on the floor. Now these guys are not playing around. Number one, they're not pretty boys. And number two, they're basically all business. But look at Spike out of nowhere with the super kick. No, he kicked out of it. Unfreaking believable. Oh, Blaze with the with the blazing kick. Oh. No, he couldn't keep Evil down. No, Evil looks like you're gonna have to roll him over a Mack truck before you can uh, score the pin there. Oh man, Michael Blaze steals a victory. Oh, the world has just frozen over. Oh man. <laughs> the world has just frozen over. Shockadella right there. If there's such a thing. Shockadella indeed. Holy cow. Wow. Spike is still running that winning streak and uh of course, who's benefiting from it? Michael Place. Holy hell on a stick there, uh, Leia. Yeah, you, you know what? You don't have to tell me twice. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a table match. I guess we are going to have Gordon against Mystery King. Dang it. All right. Wait a minute here. I'm going to have to uh, turn these all to uh, title matches. Great. I hate, that's one thing I hate about 2K. I swear to God, man. That's one thing I hate. Oh, man. Mr. King's going to feel bad. I told him he had a match yesterday. And I didn't realize I had a book there today. Shows you how much my mind is working when, uh... Freaking you, uh, under the weather foot something. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, 2K booked themselves. I remember that because it's like, yeah, basically. No, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. We we need the other my man. We need the other title. My fault. There you go. All right, now we can get this going here again. So it's still to come here tonight. So, uh, yeah, that Mr. King's going to have a tough uh, challenge because he's got a tables match. Wow. All right, there we go, folks. I do apologize. I hate when they do that. You back out in the universe mode and you decide to change everything. Why the hell do they do that? That's what I want to know. All right, we're back with action here. Uh... Trying to, man. Trying to. I, I do apologize. Yeah. 
All right, let's get the ring right now. And there is Grant right now coming to the ring. <coughs> it's FLI SummerSlam Part 1 tonight. Awesome. Yeah, that is 2K for you. I agree. Hey, Alex. Yeah. So we got that going on. And there's Grit right there waiting for action here in this tables matchup. Yeah, right now I'm checking out a few things here between this and uh and another even as I will yeah as I as basically you know it's like uh I'm basically going between two cards here right now. Yeah, forgive me, I won't yeah. Oh yeah, impact for having a thousand episodes. Interesting, I'll tell you what. Some stuff they've been having on there is interesting, I'll admit. Yeah, one of these guys I like watching a few of the, uh, quite a few of these federations because, uh, you know, it's like they got some interesting characters. That's what I like about it. Yeah, I'll tell you what that. I'll tell you what it was. Uh, great to see Tracy Brooks going into the uh, Hall of Fame coming up at Battle for Glory. So they got like multiple. Uh, basically, they got like multiple. 
Indu inductees. Because not only they got them, but they also got Tanae and West going in. Got Russ uh, Don West and Saul. I mean, you know, I, you know, it's like uh, Don West wasn't that bad at all for Impact. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's gonna be a good. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Definitely find out. You know, I hope they all picked out one unfortunate briefcase. And right now, Greg going right after Mystery King in there. This tables matchup. Yeah, that's the thing about it. The, the tables matchup is uh, simple. Put your opponent through a table. And you get your hand raised in victory in that television title. Oh, man, what a dropkick by Mystery King. I'll tell you what I got to admit. Mystery King is one of these kids that uh, are really uh, up and coming. You got that right. Took him a while to get his first win, but the first one he got was golden. Yeah, no doubt about it. Oh, that'd be interesting if that turns out to be that way. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, it would make sense for Moose to get tag team title shot because of, uh, of his affiliation with uh, Brian Myers. Chris Bay getting a world title shot. That would be interesting, man. That would be freaking interesting. If he does. Question is, would he be able to win it? Oh, no, no. And uh, Mr. King's going to go. Oh, man. And Grant has regained the tel television title back. Wow. Wow, bad break for the uh, bad break for the rookie mystery king. I mean, you know what? There's got to be a third match between these two. I swear to goodness, I hope I hope there is. I mean, Wasteland would be that platform to side that. It sure would be. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean. Coming up next, Pierce Perch defending that title against Michael Dreamer. Yeah, Michael Dreamer, he, uh, I guess the committee says, you can't deny this kid. You got to give him a title shot. Yeah, he's been putting up some really big victories. I'll tell you that much right now. So, let's get this going. Yeah, like I said, forgive me, I'm multitasking right now. Like everybody else does. It's like, hey, it happens. But I'm going to admit something right now about Impact. Uh, at the end of the show, when Saban won the uh, X Division title, it's just interesting to see H. Austin and Chris Bay come out there with uh, with them uh, celebrating uh, Saban's victory. I mean, okay, I guess that means they're they're full-fledged faces now, in a sense. Thing about it is that uh, 
I would say that, yeah, basically, uh, that, 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 that would make some kind of history because those would be like the first two members of Bullet Club be, be like uh, full-fledged faces, it seems like. And here comes Michael Dreamer to the ring. Ready for action, ready for big time title opportunity. Michael Dreamer, if he can nail this, he, you know, he can become a tri American title holder and uh, become like the official number one contender to that world title. He sure can. Yeah, imagine that uh, Trey showed up uh, during that celebration and ruined it. Yeah, I think I think I think I think uh, Trey would have got trashed. That to tell you the truth, with all those people in the ring, there'd be somebody uh, that somebody would there'd be somebody that would get him. Uh, you know, and I I'm, I would bet like uh, yeah, it would be funny if Sammy Callahan got him. And right now, coming to the ring right now is Pierce Perch. The Tri American Champion. Coming down there, I'll tell you what, right now, man. It would be nice if you could put Steve Macklin in there for a three-way match, but but I'm interested to see what uh, Alex Shelley does against Josh Alexander this this second time around. If if Shelley learned anything from his first meeting with uh, Alexander, and then a winner of that will go on, uh, I would say, face Macklin for the title. That wouldn't that wouldn't be a bad idea either. And right now, Michael Dreamer taking it to the uh, champion. Michael Dreamer wrestles like a man possessed. I'll tell you that much right now. There's no doubt about... Oh, 
But Perch coming back there. Perch not putting up with it. I'll tell you that much right now. And now Perch. Oh, man. Perch with kind of like that uh, Falcon Arrow. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of these guys in this other federation I'm watching too. I mean, like I said, I'm multitasking, forgive me. Oh. Uh. And right now, uh oh, Dreamer. Dreamer has Perch in trouble, but Perch manages to get out. Oh, yeah, faces Chris Saban, yeah. Pushes with Saban cashing in against his partner. That would be an interesting question. I mean, uh, everything's possible. What the hell? They have gone against each other before in, uh, in the early years of Impact. I'll put it that way. I don't know if they did one-on-one, -on -one, but I know in... Uh, I know there was a six-man match I remember from years back with, uh, I think it was Lethal, Jusonje, and uh, Chris Saban going against Aries, Strong, and Shelly. And Dreamer, oh man. And Dreamer is giving Punch a hell of a hard time here tonight. Uh, I, I say it once and I'll say it again, Bam. He wrestles like a man possessed. He sure does. Oh, look at that. Beautiful counter. Dreamer got all the way of that one and he nailed him with that, uh... Wow. Oh, man. Ripcord Lariat. No, Dreamer almost had it. Wow. This is a hell of a match up here. Yeah, I told this one guy on uh thing, it's like, I haven't got a chance to uh, watch some of his programming, and I feel bad about it. I mean, just the way my work schedule is. But I, 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 I'll check it out here between the screens. How do I not? Oh, my gosh, and Perch, man. Speaking of which, I wonder if that Renegade promotion is going to try to uh, try to make uh, some of our uh, deactivated titles official. No wonder. This full metal mayhem rolls. I think it. I think it might mean false count anywhere. If I'm correct, he might be right there. Yeah, that was, I gotta admit, definitely. Oh, man, and Dreamer has just got an answer for everything. And, oh, man, last shot. Might be it. No. Wow. <coughs> and the fans are saying we're not worthy. Oh, he missed. Oh, man. That might be some trouble there with that knee. I'll tell you what. Unbelievable. Oh, and Perch can't get the pen. Wow. Hell of a matchup. You gotta give it up. Oh, 
Oh man, and Dreamer gonna try and make Perch submit. He's going oh man, once again. Oh, there's a neck breaker. Nice classic swing neck breaker, kind of like the mass superstar. You got that right. Oh man, and Perch gets. Oh man, that Larry had nearly knocked his head off. I mean, Perch figured everybody out, but you know what? The bad thing about it is that I'll tell you what. This is an oddity. This is an unpredictable person, Michael Jordan is. Oh. Booted him. Oh man. Uh oh. Not good. Last shot again. Oh man. Michael Dreamer has won the Tri American title. Wow. Michael Dreamer has done it. Definitely yes, I'll tell you that much right now. New champ indeed. So far it looks like an officially the uh, mat matches champions are not faring too well. No they're not. There's Michael Dreamer, the uh, guy that kind of looks like Otis from Devil's Rejects. Perch had no answers for Dreamer. He he usually has a counter for everybody, and tonight Dreamer was on those freaking unpredictabilities. Here we go, folks. Rockabilly connection. Going against uh air attack tonight. This should be a good one. Yeah, they just made their debut last week in a contenders match and they won a victory. I'll tell you what, that's really impressive when you got two guys that held a combination of 11 world titles. Definitely did. Rock and roll, grave colors. I guess they, yeah, they decided to go with the uh, rockabilly connection. Yeah. And I could see it. I can see the Johnny Cash drooling off of them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, rock and roll, grave colors would be a great name for them. Definitely. I mean,. Wow. Oh, okay, gotcha, nice. All right. They still retained their and they still retained their reputation intact. Uh, not suffered a pinfall wash yet. Gotcha. 
That saves a little face for them, definitely. But uh, tonight they can be walking out with a big price if they can. Uh, and uh, you know what? They got a damn good chance of beating. Uh, they got a damn good chance of beating uh, Air Attack tonight. I'll say that much right now. But of course, gotta remember whoever wins this match gets to defend the titles against tomorrow's four-way contender match at Wasteland. Oh, wow. So, uh, Marcus was saying that he got pinned by the House of Torture. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, to And right now, there's the champions right there. This You got to consider this an underdog team. And don't forget, Blue Arrow still is holding on that briefcase. Yeah, I'll get credit. I just got done watching a little bit of that DWF over there run by Respect 5 here on... Uh, Twitch, I'll tell you what, check it out. It's pretty it's pretty damn good stuff. That's uh that's a recommendation I give. Let me give some of the Twitch recommendations there. I don't think I got to them. Uh, amateur gaming, fetch quest, respect five, Cajun T uh, Jungle Tigre. Yeah, check those guys out definitely. losing tonight was probably payback for how he beat Kevin Nash last night to keep the championship. Oh boy. I wonder what Kevin Nash had something to do with it. Maybe uh, just his spirit roaming around the ring. Who knows? Maybe he just was somewhere in the audience. Very possible. I'll be back real quick. I'm going to go and take care of the rest, the rest of my stuff real quick. I'll be back.
All right, folks, I'm back here. Sorry about that. It's just one of those multitasking days. Awesome. How you doing, Respect 5? Sorry I got back here now. A little bit of time here. I'm just having a multi multitasking day. This is the reason why I run this stuff early because I'm always working at night. Yeah, great to, great to have you drop by. Awesome. Yeah, I got to check out some of the stuff. Really, really great stuff, man. Probably got to check out a uh, live show for a little bit. 
All right, right now, what we got going on in the ring here. We got John Monaco, and looks like, uh-oh, oh, that's not good. I don't know, what would you rather be uh, having happen to you, Vamp? Splash on your stomach or splash on your back? I don't know. Well, both of them could uh, provide a heck of a problem because uh, I would say splash on the back can uh, impact the kidneys down the road. Splash on the stomach, well, that can impact the guts. Oh, look at that beautiful move there by Arrow. Knocks him, jumps up on him, knocks him down, and kicks him. <laughs> thank you. I greatly appreciate that, sir. Yeah, great. Yeah, like I said, thank you for uh, dropping you and uh, yeah, you and you and the rest of your. Uh, yeah, uh, was a raiding party coming in there. That's awesome. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Sorry, I was a little bit out, like I said. Once again, I apologize to everybody. I'm a little bit out. You know, it's one of those things where you got so much little time to do stuff. I'm gonna try to, you know, it's like a, I'm a stormer mule. I'm gonna try to finish up whatever I can. I know I got juggle stuff, but yeah. Thank God I'll begin some vacation time coming up here in uh, basically September. Uh, what is that? I think the 28th. Yeah. So I'll be happy with that. I will be thrilled. That means I'll have some time to uh, do some stuff. And right now, Monaco got caught in trouble. Maybe you should never went after uh, more of it. You need to keep your eyes on the guy in the ring. Oh, yeah, for sure, you know. Uh-oh. Is this the platinum hit coming up here? Oh, no. This may be it. Bam! Number one hit right there. That could be the number one hit that sends him to the top. Oh, my gosh. Could be it. Oh, and the Rockabilly Connection. Morbid has done it. Morbid and Steve had done it. Steve, I think this is Steve's first tag team title. You might be right, Vamp. Wow. Three for three. The champs have not fared well. I'll be damned. Wow. Look at that, man. And Flores got to be happy again, basically. That Morbid got another uh, title there tonight. Even though Morbid's bloody, but he's he's going he's he's going to be bringing those colors of red, gold, green and gold basically. Yeah, the, the, the one doesn't work for him the first time, just do the second one for the rope, which Steve did, and he knocked Monaco out. That kid did not have an answer to kick out of it. Oh, no, he did not. Well, we're getting to the main event here, uh, Vamp. Here we go, folks. Six-person chamber for the, uh, six-woman chamber for the women, MSW women's title. Yeah, this is interesting because here's how it's going to start off. Su Su well, no, nah, here's how the whole story came about. Susu Chu Achao beat Akira to uh, unify the world and universal women's titles. On the other hand, what's the other four doing in here? Well, Wonderland, Daphne, Miami Gold, and Shadow won a War Games match to uh, be in this matchup. So that's how it's going to be done. Rockabilly connection. Uh, we got we got an interview coming up here. Uh oh, Sasha Stone in the back right now. 
Hello folks, Sasha Stone here from beautiful Detroit, Michigan. And uh, we got the new champions here, uh, Rockabilly Connection, Brother Morbid and uh, Rockstar Steve. Woo! I tell you that much right now. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you what right now. I knew I seen something when I told Rockstar Steve that I wanted to be his partner. And I'll tell you what right now. I seen the potential and you seen it work right in that ring. Bam! Monaco had nowhere to go. I bet DDP had to be happy with that, our new general manager. And you know what the guy the thing about is this is this guy's first tag team title here in MSW. Rockstar Steve, you got any comments? Boy, you know what? 2-0, oh, we're already uh, MSW World Tag Team Champions. This is beautiful, man. Now, the only thing that me and Morbid can think of, uh, tomorrow night, we're going to watch and see who wins that four-way contenders match because that's our future opponents. You got the Saints, you got Bull Run, you got the Bullet Club team made up of Hovis and Marcus, and then you got the Wolf Pack, which Morbin knows really well. So that should really play really well for us. All right, we're gonna go party. I'll talk. To, we'll we'll talk to you later, Sasha. I guess Rick Flair wants to take us out to the best steakhouse round. Well, there you go, folks. Your new tag team champions. Back to you. I'll tell you what, man. This has been an interesting first night. I, 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 I can't wait to see what the second night's going to be about. Oh, you got that right. I'll tell you how much right now. And the interesting part about this chamber tonight, you got two, uh, you got both members of Obsidian in this. One an opportunity to upgrade, the other one an opportunity to regain. You got that right. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean... Great. Just, yeah, just, uh, wow. It's been an interesting night. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if champions will go 0 and 4 tonight. Susan Chow is a tough one, but you know what? Nothing's tougher than the Elimination Chamber. Let's put it that way. And you're going to be going against five of the most decorated women here in MSW. Oh, wow. We'll keep that a secret, definitely. Yeah, we'll keep that a secret. I will not mention it. Believe me. And you fans that read on YouTube, you want to know about? Well, you better go out and read the chat. That's all I'm going to say. Read the freaking chat. Because this guy, this guy's lips are staying sealed on that one. And there is Akira, so uh, right now it may be looking interesting here. 
I think if I'm correct, I've seen Daphne, Akira, and Shell all taking their spots in the chamber. So, looks like either one of them done, uh, all, all those girls did not get the first two spots, which uh, may provide an advantage, depending on how it is. But, of course, don't forget, Vamp, you've seen people start off at number one in this chamber, and uh, they won. That's so true. I'll say that much right now. That is so true. Yeah, next week, don't forget at Shockwave, uh, Thursday night, Power Play. Big uh, show there, folks. I think the main event's going to be the MSW, I mean, not the MSW, the Shockwave World Title. Champion Gabriel Kidd taking on the challenger, Brandon Styles. Man, I'll tell you what, opportunities are rise for Brandon too, because tomorrow he gets another shot at that MSW title. All because of his foot being underneath the rope. So, it looks like Miami Gold and Susu Chow is going to start off first. Oh my, the champion starting off. It's going to be one of the first two women in there. Oh man. Susu Chow is going to have a hell of a journey then. Well, she is right there, folks. Dude. I'll tell you what, unbelievable. Here we go, folks. Ready to get this one going. It could happen. You're right. It could happen. Well, of course, it's going to also be a card where, like, Slammiversary and NWA 75, where only one champion retained their title. Everybody knows about that Slammiversary. It was Alex Shelley that was the only one that retained his title against Nick Aldis, and then of course at NWA 75, Tom Larimer retained the TV title against Chris Adonis, which now gave him lucky seven, and which means in Cleveland, October 28th, Sam Hain, the NWA card down there, Larimer's challenging the EC3, I think, for the uh, world title. That's going to be interesting concerning the beef that those two have between each other. Could Tom Lamere maybe become the new champion? Who knows? I mean, I got to admit right now, could be, could be possible. I mean... He really brushed up as a wrestler, definitely. I give him all the credit in the world. Of course, you know he's got a. Of course, he is married to uh, the girl that held the uh, NWA Women's Title for 800 days, Camille. Yes. Oh, and Miami Gold goes down quickly. Well, Susu wants to get retain that title. She needs to strike, strike fast, and strike hard. You got that right. She wants to be the only champion who retains her title tonight.
So it looks like we got a couple of matches in the books already. It's going to be Asia against Asia and Dana against uh, whoever wins the tag, whoever becomes out, comes out the women's tag team champions tomorrow night at Wasteland. Mayhem against Hovis. Now that's going to be interesting. Yeah, it should be. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a splash by Gold. That was a Golden Splash. I'll tell you that much right now. Sure was. You're not kidding. Ah, wow. That sounds really interesting. Well, uh, yeah, I'll have to see what happens there. Definitely. For sure. And of course, Sanders, I don't think he's here this week. He's, he's at home recovering from the uh, cell match. Hello there, Jonathan. You're going to be defending your X Division title tomorrow night. <coughs> and Shell almost got pinned by the skin of her teeth there. 2.75. Of course, right now we know that Morbid and Rockstar Steve is being treated to the best steakhouse in town by Ric Flair. Oh, well, they're gonna they're gonna have a uh, they're gonna have an occasion tonight, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. <coughs> I mean, did, I mean, basically, when you see Steve hit uh, Monica with that. Uh, cut her off the uh, second rope. Did you see the eyes lay up on Flair? Yeah, I did. Definitely. He liked that. Kira's got her own partner hooked up in that octopus hole. Ouch. Nasty version of the Domino Stretch. And the referee's not even paying attention to pin when Susu kind of got rid of one of her contenders already. Is the referee having a spaz attack there? I mean, yeah. He's right now stuck in there. Are you serious? I'm gonna do something here real quick. Hold on here, guys. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Uh... Let's see he's going to be the lucky one to knock some sense into him. Dang it. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to restart this match? Son of a gun. Well, we're going to restart this match. I guess, uh, yeah, this guy, freaking hell. Okay, maybe it's going to, oh, man, you know what? This may mess up the order again, but that's okay. I guess I got the first two right. Freaking 2K. You ruin a classic match like this, and we know who to blame. Remember, fans, if you got sports bets on this, you know what? You find out it's not your favorite winning, you know who you can blame. 2K.
I hate when it does that. I swear to goodness, man. Yeah, I get the shirts ready. Fatel's gonna. Yeah, Fatel needs to bring them back again, folks. I'll be glad to buy about 10 of them. Give them to all my family members that play this. <coughs> You mean now there's going to be like uh, five minutes of hubbub that really happened for nothing? Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Okay, ref, don't don't uh, have have a don't have a conniption here, referee. Okay. Oh, good. Nice. So it never crashed yet. Good. Good, good, good. I hope it stays that way. You know. Hopefully, yeah, definitely. You're right about that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, we're gonna make it a sandwich for sure. Damn you, 2K. That's all let's say. Yeah, I think they've been like that for a while. I mean, you know what? I'll give them all the credit in the world. Borderlands is uh, Borderlands is pretty damn good and stuff like that. But it's like when it comes to sports games, they're getting sloppy. Yeah, again, very sloppy. They're all in there, and right now, nobody got eliminated. Yeah, the bodies will start tumbling here soon. I'll tell you that much right now. Miami Gold got tossed to the uh, steel barrier outside. That floor, basically. That floor has no give out there outside the ring. Outside the ring will go, yeah. Right now, oh man. What a move there by Daphne on the champion. 
you know what, the champion, I'll tell you what, the more that the more daring she takes, the more likely she can lose that title here tonight. Very probable there, Leia. Very probable. Probable. Take that much right now. Oh, and Miami goal going for the ride. Going for the pin. Miami goal is gone. Oh, Roberto Clemente Day, awesome. One of the great, one of the baseball greats, which I wish I got to see. TV or something like that while they're still living. Yeah. There's like a lot of those great guys that died tragically like him, and number one's example I gotta give credit to is uh, Thurman Munson. And I was like, oh man. Is a cure gone to? Son of a god. No pity for her, I guess. Oh man. Wonderland's gone too. Holy cow. They're all going down by knockout. I forgot there is a knockout option there, and Susu's doing a pretty damn good job of maybe having a chance to retain that title. Oh! Son of a god. And Daphne's going for the pin. No, man. Right. And sh And Susu is gone. There's gonna be a new champion. Oh my gosh. Wow! If Cheryl wins it, that means she has to give up that Queen of Wasteland title. You called that correctly, Mark, because you said that it was gonna be it was gonna be a matchup where it was gonna be a card where nobody was not gonna retain their title. And Daphne now taking it to, uh... Oh, here we go. Stratus Faction, wow. Wow. Yeah, the difference between Stratus Faction and Slice Bread is that Stratus Faction, you bound off the ropes. Slice Bread, you basically uh, bound off the uh, turnbuckle. Right you are. Tell you how much right now. And Shadow, what is she doing? Come on, Shadow, you gotta get your head back in the game, miss. Ah, gotcha. Oh, man, I think that might be it. Daphne has won the title again. Wow. Hell of a victory. I'll tell you that much right now. Daphne, man, I'll tell you what. Every champion lost a championship tonight. You are right about that. And there you go, folks. Daphne, your new MSW Women's Champion. Wow. So Daphne, the Rockabilly Connection, Michael Dreamer, and Grit. If you're any one of those names, guess what? Congratulations. You have gold around your waist again. Unbelievable. I'll tell you that much right now, Vamp. It is unbelievable. Folks, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here this first night. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely will. I'll check it out later on. I'll check it out on Twitch. I will check it out on uh, YouTube, definitely. And if I do, I will put a like on there and give you a comment, man. 
Thank you all for being here. I mean, great to have everybody checking it out and everything. Join us again tomorrow. I may, uh, it's going to probably be between 6 and 7 tomorrow for a second night. So, for then, for William already, I am Vamp 712. Have a good night, everybody, and take care.